peace in the mountains and the deserts close at hand. The wildlife that is living there is running wild and free. Isn't that the way that they should be? The trail was pretty much as I'd remembered it. In my dreams, I had hiked this way dozens of times during the years. Not in the snow, of course. This weather was very unusual for late spring. Summer was right around the corner, but it felt like December. Matt, I'm sorry for holding everybody up. Michael, come here. You're doing fine. Nobody is upset with you because you want to rest. You sure? Graham's acting like he's going to chop me up with that knife of his. Graham? Yeah. He's struggling the same as all of us. And that machete just adds another five pounds to his load. Well, I'm sure they all think I'm too young to be here. Michael, you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. You're doing a great job. Believe me. Give yourself a pat on the back instead of all this worry, OK? Good for you. It's been a long time since my first overnight pack trip. Now I remember, it wasn't easy. Do we all get our own backpacks assigned to us today? First, we're going to see how you hold up on a one-day hike with the lighter day packs. If we do all right, do each of us get a regular pack? Each of us had the big picture in our minds of what a great adventure backpacking was going to be. But as so often happens, the way we visualize things seldom matches the reality. Steve was the youngest, but that didn't give him any exclusivity on suffering. We were equally miserable. Ow! Oh. Doggone pack. What started out as fun wound up being just hard work. Come on. That wasn't so bad. Uh, not so bad. Oh. It didn't occur to any of us back then. Our counselors were just preparing us for the rigors of a real overnight trip. First, let's take a look at your backpack and become familiar with it. By the time Scott gave us our full-size packs, we had a pretty good idea of what was ahead. Let's go. After a few times, we actually got to be pretty good at it. We'd learned that solemn rule of wilderness camping, prepare for the worst and be ready for anything. Rain, wind, snow. We had everything we needed right on our backs. Ready for all contingencies. But it took me much longer to realize that the real value we were each getting out of it all had little to do with outdoor skills. We were learning that we could do more as a group than we could alone. Sir, we're not tired. You can call me Matt, Graham. Yes, sir, Matt. David and I are going on ahead to scout the trail. No, we stick together. I told you. Well, let me put it another way. Everyone's got their own limitations, right? Naturally, the girls and little kids have to stop all the time and rest. Oh, but you men could keep going, right? Right. Once you get into a stride, it's best to keep going. Your pack gets a lot heavier after a rest. It's better to hang tough and push ahead. No gain without pain. Well, what do you think about that, David? Well, it's really Graham's idea. I could use a little rest. You're right about everyone having limitations, Graham. You should be aware of your companion's limitations, not just your own. 
Michael, Lisa, try putting your sleeping bags on top. It should balance better on your shoulders that way. Luke, can you help me? Certainly, Michael. Want some company, Mindy? Let's talk later. No, stay. Can I help? I'm not afraid. I was just walking, taking it all in. The wilderness, you mean? These trees and plants, mountains. I've never been close to beauty like this. Most people back home don't understand why we want to lug a few necessities up a mountain. They wonder why we leave the comforts of our warm homes to go searching. Searching for what? Something I believe you've already found. This is Mountain Meadow, right? Right. If we break camp at sunup, we should reach Camp Wilderness by late tomorrow afternoon. Why so long? Well, the trail gets a little tougher. A little tougher? What's that, Luke? A profile. And I would say the trail gets more than a little tougher. Before leaving home, I run a few numbers through my PC. What's a PC? My computer. The elevation of the trail rises 80 feet every time you cross one of these contour lines on the topographic map. I figured the rate of our ascent, the number of calories we would burn today, and also the energy required for every thousand foot section of the trail. Impressive. How many calories do we each burn today? Lots. With your body and backpack weight combined, you shed over 5,500 calories since we departed this morning. But that's nothing compared to what we'll use up tomorrow. So we'd better store up some calories. Let's get dinner going. Yeah. 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 So, how do you feel? Tired. I mean about coming back here. It's, uh, strange. It's like, um, driving through your old hometown, passing the house where you grew up, visiting your old school. And I look at those kids and I think about what a long road they have ahead of them. It's just seven more miles. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Aren't you glad you met a girl who loves backpacking? And in Chicago yet. <laughs> I bet you're sorry you told me about your wilderness escapades as a kid. If I had any idea that you were going to drag <laughs> me back here, I never would have tried to impress you with those stories. You know, we're going to scale Suicide Rock this summer. And you know about sleeping dogs. Look. The only way you're ever going to get that past you is to go back and confront it. Conquer it. Once you fall, I don't think you go back. You can do anything if you work on it. I'll work on it. This is a great place for collecting wood. It's all over. I bet we're the first people to ever explore this spot. Listen. What? Shh, just listen. It's over there. What'd you hear, Kev? Was it an animal, person, or what? Over here. You know, there's dangerous animals out here, like coyotes, and they have to eat, you know. Someone's been here. A trapper. Look what they caught. Skunk? No. Come closer. Rabbits don't eat people. A rabbit! What jerk would do something like that? I'm gonna let her go. Let's take this trap and throw it off a cliff or do a lake. No, that would